why would you speak to or serve demons? Okay. If you play with magic, you are just inviting more demons to your life. When you do that, you will become much more miserable. No matter what power demons give you, you will be miserable in the end. Demons have no good trait. So when you invite them, there will be much more havoc in your life. This is a guarantee. There is no happiness when you mess around with demons. This goes for people that are in the occult, witchcraft, and other organizations that pertains to this issue. People who participate in these type of activities, it will be much more difficult for them to serve God. The more you give your life to Satan, the more difficult it will be to turn back. Some people believe that when you die, you still can linger around on this earth. That is false. When you die, you will either go to heaven or hell. At this point, your time on earth is over. Anything that comes to you in the shape of someone you knew, it is a demon in disguise. You must understand this. Demons can shapeshift. Demons can imitate us as well. Think about it. What if you watched someone for 20 to 60 years? Wouldn't you know many things about that person? Wouldn't you know their habits? Of course, this is one of many reasons why demons can imitate people very well. Demons are supernatural beings. We have to factor all of this information. If you see someone you know or a loved one that have died in the past, you need to command that demon to leave immediately. If you don't, give me a second. If you don't, you are allowing that demon and more to intervene in your life, which is no good. Stay away from all witchcraft, all magic. You will get yourself in much trouble. You have to understand that demons hate us. <clears throat> they don't want any good thing for us. They rebelled against God when they lived in heaven. Back then, they were heavenly beings. Ever since they rebelled, they were kicked out of heaven. Since they are not able to go back to heaven, now they want to ruin the lives of humans. What is more shocking, there are people who serve demons, serve creatures with inferior power. Some may say demons have the real power, which is incorrect. The power that demons and Satan have, it was given by God. In my opinion, I don't know if they are as strong as they once were when they lived in heaven, yet they still have some authority and power. I don't know the complete details on this. All honor and glory goes to God. Don't give it to anyone else. Make God the focus of your entire life. God bless. Okay.